Welcome to another edition of Divine Ground Tantra TV and I'm here today with Ohad Ezrahi who is senior faculty at ISTA, the International School of Temple Arts. Now Ohad is also an ordained uh, rabbi in the Kabbalistic Jewish tradition and I heard you say the other night that pleasure is the new holy. Now to many people and myself at one time this would have sounded like the ultimate blasphemy. So I'd like to ask you, if you would, just to maybe just explain a little about what it is that you mean by pleasure is the, the new holy. Yeah, pleasure is the new holy. It's actually not so new. It's very ancient. Pa pleasure in, in Kabbalah, pleasure is the, um, the thread that actually tie all the worlds together, all the worlds from the source of existence to the lowest uh, world. They're all tied up together with a string that is actually pleasure, the pleasure of existence. Existence is, is a pleasure of itself. And in the tree of life, pleasure con is connected to the, actually the highest uh, potential. Um, and for some, for some reason, um, people th learn to think that God l wants us to suffer. Mm. And I, I actually think it's the ego who wants to suffer and God wants us to be happy, blossom, you know, acknowledge, be grateful of this amazing life that we have, of this body that is a walking miracle. And the secret is that pleasure is a gateway to spirit. Um, not as many people have learned. So there is a lot of guilt, shame, fear that is around pleasure. So it needs kind of an unlearning uh, mm. uh, time until our natural state of learning how to be in pleasure can take us deep, can take us really deeper than the egoic self into transpersonal dimensions and into really high levels of spirit through pleasure. So pleasure for me and in our work is is a vehicle that one can learn mm -hmm. uh, how to how to travel on the waves of pleasure and orgasmic pleasure uh, far beyond the the m mundane life in which people l usually use pleasure. Mm. It's kind of uh, for me. It's like. Um, you know, as a rabbi, it's like it's it's a blasphemy to 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 think about. Like, you know, why would God want us to suffer? You know, what kind of an image of a God is it? Like, you know, why? What kind of your parent would you want you to suffer? I mean, only parents who didn't live their life kind of want their children. Like, I suffered for you, you suffer again. You know, it's like no, but you know, God is having a lot of pleasure. <laughs> well, then, if that's the case, we should do the same. Exactly. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you.